Number 10. It's kind of already open. What is it? It's a hospital. Something. <laughs> it's a hospital. You just... It's a... It's a hospital, but they did it. Just have the red windows. Mm -hmm. You gonna put it together in here, or you want to the couch? I have pretty much a lot. You are, yeah. You got ten of them so far. Still got fourteen more to open. We could call this a tetanus shot. <laughs> it is a little shot in it. Yeah. I look like a little. A shot or a vaccine or something, huh? <laughs> okay, that way you can see it better. Oh, it comes with two shots. <laughs> Are you tired this morning? No, I just don't feel good. It's coming along pretty well. It is. You're coming it really quick. You're already done with it, aren't you? Oh. There you go. Mm. Good job. That's perfect. Good morning guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, December 10th. Uh, so it's Vlogmas Day 10. Uh, it is 10-ish. I can't see the clock, my TV's in the way. I gotta move my clock. <laughs> but anyways, um, this morning we got up and got Jesse ready for school. And uh, he woke right up this morning, just right out of bed. <laughs> Some days he does that and it surprises me. But uh, we went took him to school and then we had to go pay our lot bill, it was due today. And uh, so we had to go pay that real quick. <laughs> and uh, I came home and made breakfast for me and Devin. We ate and watched the end of Harry Potter 3. So now we're going to start Harry Potter 4. Um, probably this weekend when he's off work. He's never seen 4 through 8. So it's fun watching them with someone who's never seen them. But uh, anyways, I ran the dishwasher and cleaned up the kitchen really good. Because, you know, grease is everywhere <laughs> from bacon and uh, eggs and stuff. And then I went in there, I picked up the living room. I have energy today, so I'm using some of it. <laughs> I picked up the living room pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks a lot better. There was Legos everywhere, so I, I hoarded all his Legos up. Um, I packed his bag, because he's gone to Granny's today after school. So I went ahead and got it all packed, so we could take it with us to pick him up. Uh, I put my sister's tr presents under the tree, beside the tree. It won't really fit under it, because Jesse's gifts are all under there. What else to do? Oh, I cleaned up my craft area a little bit. I cleaned up from where I sewed. I still need to clean my sewing machine. I didn't do that the other day. So I'll do that um, eventually before I sew again. And I went through my shelf because I, I got to where I was just kind of stuffing stuff in there. Mail and, um, you know, receipts from when I purchased stuff for business. And so I went through all that and organized it pretty. <laughs> I found a bunch of stuff from Halloween that needs to be put up, like Halloween decorations I need to put in a box to put away. And it looks pretty good in there. It looks clean. So now I can start. I'm going to start cutting fabric. I might bring it in here while I'm watching TV and cut some fabric for crab bags. And because um, I want to start working on some stuff just kind of slowly over the next few weeks. And then have a shop update. Probably a small one uh, at the end of the year. Uh, because I really want to get some of that stuff used up. I have them crab thingies I've had forever. And I wanna, I'd like to use all those up. And then I'll order some more in the new year and make some. I want to start making those more often because a lot of people like those hook bags and I made some smaller 
before that was like notion pouches for like stitch markers and needles and things um i would like to start doing that again because they aren't they're convenient to have <laughs> but um i have one somewhere around here that i was going to get and show to you guys because some people don't know what i'm talking about because it's been a long time since i made them but um if i can think about it i'll go to my etsy store and get a picture of one and pop it up somewhere uh because i have some pictures on there but Jesse had one. I just don't know what he did with it. But they're just really convenient to put hooks in and to put uh, needles and stitch markers in to throw down into your project bag to take with you. Um, my, I made my, some for my mom and she uses them for her glasses and her sunglasses. I've made some for other people in my real life, you know, for sunglasses and stuff. They're just handy little cases. But anyways, I wanna, I'm want to. i going to pull some of that stuff out and because I got a lot of scrap fabric that is the size that I can make those with. So I'll probably cut it while watching TV and just get them ready. I probably won't actually start sewing for a while for a few more days because I want to get a lot of stuff cut first so that it's smooth. You know, I could just sew and not have to stop and do stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I did, I did pretty good today, I think. I cleaned up a lot. I actually got up this morning and cleaned myself up pretty good <laughs> and got dressed. I'm wearing, like, sweatpants, but I am seven months pregnant, and it's winter, even though it's, like, 60 degrees today. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning, my face was swollen. I look like a marshmallow. I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but like, you couldn't even see these lines on my face. They were just poofy and puffy. And I had big old bags under my eyes. And I was like, lord. <laughs> so I washed my face off really good with cold water. And uh, brushed my hair out and put it up in a bun. A messy bun. And I was like, lord. I'm puffy. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. I don't worry about it. My ring still fits. Sometimes, some days I take my ring off because it gets too tight. My hands swell up. But my blood pressure so far has been good, so I'm not too worried about preeclampsia yet. But with Jesse, it didn't show up until the very end of my pregnancy, so. Uh, but I'm keeping an eye on that, and I'm drinking water like crazy. I hardly drink anything else, and actually nothing else really quenches my thirst. Um, mostly just water is what I want, really cold water. <laughs> but yeah, so the dishwasher is running, and I'm sitting here. I finished my gnome yesterday. He's just chilling over there. <laughs> until I can show them in a video and then I'm going to give them to my sister. She came yesterday to bring baby gifts and some wrapping paper that for me to wrap her gifts in. <laughs> and um, I asked her if she wanted him because uh, he's cute and all, but he's not like my style of Christmas stuff. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense. I have some gnomes on my Christmas tree, but um, I don't know. I just thought she might want them because she likes... Um, nutcrackers and you know they got the beards so i thought she might like that too <laughs> she has a ton of nutcrackers uh, my thanksgiving vlog if you guys seen that i took pictures of her christmas decorations she has nutcrackers over <laughs> but and i made her i made her a crochet one that she's got she had it under her tree and uh, i bought her a couple nutcrackers before too uh yeah what was i saying i done got sidetracked <laughs> uh i'm not working on anything today i do have my christmas blanket i need to work on and my, I need to work on my X, Y, and Z squares. I'm not close to being done. I just don't have the oomph to do it, you know. I want to start something new. But I don't know what. I got a lot of patterns on my favorite list, you know, that I need to just figure out what I want to start. I want to start one of those cardigans, but I'm afraid I won't get to finish it before I go into labor. And then I'd hate for it to just sit there half finished. I really need to just focus on the blankets because then they won't be half finished, you know. I don't know. I might make some squares. I gotta make a bunch of Aaron squares still. Uh, and then a bunch of appliques for the Christmas blanket. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of want to work on something different. You know, you ever know that you just want to work on something different. And that amigurumi was a lot of fun. I enjoyed making him. Um, so I'd like to make some more amigurumis. But I don't know what for. Ooh, my hand's shaking. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, so today's Friday. So, um... Devin does work tonight, and Jesse's going to my mom, so that means I get some alone time. Woo. So that means I'm going to be sitting in bed, watching YouTube videos, and eating snacks and crocheting probably <laughs> later tonight. Because that's what I do usually when they're both gone. I just relax in bed and watch TV. And um, I need to mop in here, but I'm probably not going to. I might spot mop, like the spots that really need it, you know. And I swap down the bathroom at some point today or tomorrow. And then tomorrow we're going to pick Jesse up. At some point hopefully go to the parade if the rain moves out i hope it moves out i don't really want to go to the parade and the city next to us parades tomorrow as well but it's supposed to rain you know in the whole area so that probably they might both get canceled i don't know we'll just have to wait and see uh what else we gonna do tomorrow i gotta go to the post office drop off all my orders i got them all packaged up last night 
I sat down and did them all and it was pretty good it was pretty smooth <laughs> I got like a system now for doing it it doesn't take forever it took about an hour but I had a bunch of orders to pack it up and I gotta check my mail because I seen today I got an email I got a whole bunch of Christmas cards in there so I'm excited about getting them and opening them um I don't think we have to do anything else tomorrow I gotta go buy macaroni and cheese because Jesse wanted some last night for dinner and when I went in the pantry there's only two boxes left and I got one out so there's only one box left and he's been eating that like crazy so I gotta get some more macaroni and cheese mm, that's about it nothing exciting hopefully I'll get to film some clips of the parade uh, and we might also go to the Christmas tree light show tomorrow night um, let's do a dishwasher it's so loud <laughs> and um, I'll record little clips of that too I can't record the audio because it's songs you know that are copywritten but um yeah it's still fun i love sitting out there and watching it we do that every year and i can't think of anything else maybe make cupcakes because jesse wants to make cupcakes and then next week is jesse's like last week of school and then he's off so it's going to be a lot of fun i'm looking forward to him being home for a while and devin will also be home devin has to work a week more than jesse goes to school I think his last day of work is the 23rd. But that would mean he'd be working into Christmas Eve. I don't know if it's the 22nd going into the 23rd or the 23rd going into the 24th. One of those days is his last day of work. And then he'll be off for four days. And then he has to go back to work for two days. And then he'll be off again for 30, 31, 1, 2, for four days. So he'll be off for four days, work two days, off for four days, and then back to regular schedule. But that's still some time off. So that's okay. It's not the greatest, but eh. Yeah, I get what I get. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I'm watching the movie called Stepmom on Netflix. Uh, they just put that on there, I think. And it's got Julia Roberts in it and Susan Sarandon. I think it's her name. Uh, she's the mom off of Little Women <laughs> and I absolutely love both of those actresses as actresses I don't know them as personalities so I don't know if they're good people <laughs> but I like when they act so I'm gonna watch that and I'm gonna I guess I want to work on some squares even though I want to work on something funner <laughs> but I need to get that done I procrastinate it I've been working on that Christmas blanket for months and I'm working on that moving stitch movie uh, blanket all year <laughs> so I need to get them done okay but anyways, I'm gonna hop off. I'll catch up with you guys later. I gotta figure. I also gotta go to Pinterest and um, figure out what to make for dinner. I wanted to find something new to make, and I got all kinds of ingredients on hand. So uh, yeah, but I'm gonna hop off here and do that. I guess. Hey guys, it's a little later. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I don't know if I have the pregnancy waddle yet, but I definitely have a pregnancy limp. <laughs> but um, this is the area that I cleaned up earlier. I should have did it before right here this shelf and this basket this is my receipt basket this is where i'm supposed to put all my no kitchen name related receipts every month and then at the beginning of the next month is when i go through and do my excel spreadsheets for what i spent money on what i earned money on and then they all go in this file folder thingy um for taxes but uh i started putting everything else in there so i had to clean it out big time and this is just, uh, this is our bill folder. I keep all our bills in. And this is the stuff from Jesse's school <laughs> that I want to keep because it's cute. This is my camera, my like photography camera. Uh, and then this is my like packaging stuff for no catch name orders. But yeah, so I organized all that. I got a whole bag. There's a big Target bag right there of trash <laughs> that I was pulling out of there and boxes from packages that I, like you can see I keep boxes everywhere these ones are filling up with donation stuff uh, I always keep boxes I'm a box person <laughs> oh but I got some baby gifts that my sister brought I'm gonna show them in a happy mail video but I'm just gonna show them real quick here too from people who watch the vlogs I'm tired oh okay this one is the one from Lynn I believe yeah uh she she's the one who got Jesse the travel game which is up there now <laughs> with our, all of his board games. We got them piled up there. But she got uh, June a teether pacifier thing. This is cool. I remember seeing these when Jesse was baby, but I never got one. 
So it's cool that um, I could try it out with her now. And it's, you can freeze it for extra soothing. So that's neat. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then these uh, sleepers, I'll have to look on the Amazon re uh, register to see who bought which ones. Because I wanted to open them. And then I got them mixed up. But Because uh, two different people bought them. And I have to uh, go look and see who bought which ones in the Happy Mo video. But they're from Elizabeth and Jonah. But they're the cutest little footy pajama sleepers. There's two in zero to three months and two in 36. So this is one of the 36 ones. It's got pandas on it. And then this one has hearts and it says little sister. And they're so fuzzy and soft. And these are the littler ones. Some, some of these might go in my hospital bag because if we accidentally get stuck at the hospital longer than we are expecting, you know, like Jesse, I was expecting to be there for like a night and I ended up being there for five knots. <laughs> This one's got llamas or alpacas, whichever. And this one's just like a cute floral print. So those will probably go into the hospital bag. Um, just in case we're there for a while. But, uh, and then I also got some more bottles, which is awesome. These are the little ones. The four ounce ones, which are nice for when the baby's little. Because you don't have to have a big giant bottle, so just a little bit of formula in it. Yeah. Ooh, it's cold in here. I gotta turn the air off. I, turn, I got hot earlier when I was cleaning. Let's see here. Turn it off. I got my gold flex set over here because I think he was getting too cold sitting in the window from the air coming through the window. Because he's like a, he's not a tropical plant, but he's like a desert plant. And so is my snake plant, but he's doing fine. They're pretty much impossible to kill, I'm pretty sure. They're like succulents. And the ficus is doing good so far in the window. And the pothos is just hanging out over there. She's doing good. I watered them all the other day. I only water them about twice a month. Um, because I, I used to have a real bad habit of overwatering my plants and killing them. That's one thing that I learned over the years. And like this pothos, you're not supposed to water it until the leaves start drooping. And as you see, they're like springy and up. So she's good. All these shiny leaves are new leaves. So that's awesome. She's still growing. Way down here is a brand new leaf. It looks like it just opened, just started opening. But yeah, so I do try to just water them. The snake plant is even less. I water it even less because it's like a desert plant. So it rarely needs water. But the rest of them, you can usually tell when a plant needs water. That's when you water them. <laughs> so I've definitely gotten better at taking care of plants over the years. I've killed many of plants. <laughs> but I haven't done much today other than the cleaning this morning. I'm really sore. I just feel so much pressure in my nether regions. And actually my butt cheeks are so sore. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, but like my butt muscles... I don't remember my butt muscles hurting so bad when I was pregnant with Jessie. But who knows? It's been six years. I made a crochet square <laughs> for my ex movie, which I'm not going to share yet. I get the Grinch. <laughs> but so now I need to make Y and Z. I'm trying to get those done. I might work on those tonight when I'm sitting in bed relaxing. I watched. What did I watch? I watched a movie, that stepmom movie, and it was such a good movie, and I cried my eyes out because <laughs> it's sad, but it's good. Uh, I edited a video, and then I sat here, yeah. <laughs> and now I was going to make chicken thighs for dinner, but they're taking forever to thaw out, so I'll probably have to make those tomorrow. Uh, I don't, me and Devin might get something to eat. Maybe some Chinese food. After we talked to Drake, drop Jesse off at my mom's. That would be nice. I've been wanting Chinese food really bad. <laughs> I told him I was going to get some this weekend, regardless, because I've been wanting it for, like, weeks. And I didn't want to just, you know, eat it. But I want it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the dishwasher finished running. It's open now. Drying. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to get something to drink. Uh, probably some ice for my water because it's, it's set there and it's gotten room temperature and I like it cold. And I might snack on some nuts or something. It's almost time to wake Devin up. Then we'll go get Jesse, take him to my mom's, maybe get Chinese food. Come home and maybe watch some more Harry Potter 4 until he gets ready to go to work. I don't have any more errands I gotta run today. I don't think. <laughs> but, uh, and then tomorrow will be the weekend and the boys are both home. So I'm sure we'll get into some good thing. Oh man, I just got a message about one of my aunts passing away. I didn't even know that. I have to go message someone about that. <laughs> That's crazy. One of my great aunts. I'm not I'm not close to her, so it's not like horrible. You know, like I'm not saddened horribly by it. 
but it's you know one of those things where it's like oh wow i didn't know that person died does that sound bad <laughs> it doesn't sound bad because i don't know these people there's a lot of people in my family i've never really met and hung out with or anything so anyways i'm just blabbing <laughs> i'm gonna go message my sister and see what she's talking about but i will check in with you guys later <laughs> hey guys it's me again obviously who else would it be <laughs> trying to get up off the couch. Oh, I've been sitting for too long. I watched a movie, another movie. <laughs> I watched As Good As It Gets. I've never seen that. It's got Jack Nicholson in it, and I think Bonnie Hunt is her name. Um, I had never seen it, so I wanted to watch it, and it was a pretty good movie. So it is almost 6.40, and I'm going to clean up the kitchen real quick, and then I'm going to go take a shower. I think that's my plan. So yeah, it's dark in here. Uh, I don't know what to talk about really. I didn't do anything productive today. <laughs> I was mostly just uh, watching movies and um, sitting. <laughs> for work earlier he took trash with him so that's why I had to put that in there so yeah we took Jesse to my mom's I went ahead and gave him tomorrow's Lego thing since he'll be at her house in the morning um checking our weather and it looks like the parade will probably go on tomorrow because the rain's supposed to move out so far uh before the parade starts so that's good um yeah so I'm going to empty the dishwasher reload it <laughs> and uh, go from there. Just a few little things to pick up because the house didn't really get dirty today. I gotta do laundry. Ooh, laundry piles up so fast. <laughs> uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow or Sunday. My, all my leggings are in the laundry. My comfy pregnancy ones. So I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow. <laughs> Just so I can have some leggings. I had to put jeans on earlier when we left and it was uncomfortable. Even though they're maternity pants, it was still really uncomfortable. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to clean up the kitchen real quick, and then I'm going to go take a shower, and then I'll catch up with you guys. I will open up my scrap ball. I haven't done that yet. They're on the table over here. Let me grab one. I'll do it now. <laughs> grab this one. I still haven't figured out what I want to do with them yet. Oh, this is a pretty blue color. It's like a navy blue. Really pretty. That's the last color. I got one box over there that I have the wrapped balls in and then have another box that I've been putting the unwrapped balls in. And I just, I don't know what I want to do with them yet. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. Because uh, I really need to focus on getting the mother blankets done. I know I've done said that like 20,000 times. But I did get one square done today. So that's a bonus. <laughs> I'll probably start working on something in the bedroom. After I take a shower, I'm going to sit in there and crochet. So I might work on some more squares or something. I don't know. It really depends on how I feel. <laughs> I'm just, I'm taking it easy since I got time to myself. And I don't have to, work, you know, deal with uh, keeping Jesse alive. <laughs> to not. That is all on my mom and my stepdad. He was perfectly happy. When we go to their house, he, we don't exist anymore. He just runs off with Paul doing stuff. He took his Legos into their kitchen with Paul and was, um, building his little thing. It was a helicopter for tomorrow's little uh, Lego thing. <laughs> and um, so we don't even exist when we're at grandparents' house yet. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get the kitchen cleaned up and then I'll catch back up with you guys at some point later. Um, if I start crocheting, maybe I'll record some of that or something. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, I just took a shower. I wore a shower cap because I didn't want to get my hair wet. Because it's so late already in the day that um, if I go to bed with my hair wet, it takes forever to dry. And then my scalp gets really itchy. So, I'll have to take another shower <laughs> tomorrow to wash my hair. But I feel good. It felt good getting in there and just being in the warm water. I'm going to eat a Hersey bar <laughs> that I commandeered from Jesse's Candy. I brought my um, Christmas blanket in here. My big basket of Christmas blanket supplies. <laughs> I might sit here and crochet some of the squares for it. I still need to make, I believe, 12 Aaron squares. 
and then I'll be done with the squares and then I can start working on the last 16 uh, appliques. And I'm sitting here, I got uh, YouTube pulled up on my TV in the bedroom. And I'm watching everybody's videos that they put out today. <laughs> There's like 20 something or 30 something that I added to my watch later. So I'm gonna sit here and go through them and crochet. I do have to say, I watch all YouTube videos in two times speed. <laughs> I know people always talk about how like fast I am and stuff and it's because my brain just works that way and um, I cannot stand to watch a video in regular speed so I do turn mine up to twi two times speed and I watch it. It drives Devin crazy uh, because it makes people's voices sound kind of chipmunky but it's really it's literally the only way I can watch them and uh, Netflix added where you can speed up shows on it so I like that too because <laughs> my brain just works really fast all the time it's just going constantly. And uh, I love that YouTube will let you speed up videos because it, it makes a six minute video only three minutes. <laughs> so you can watch more videos, but also people talk faster. So they, uh, it's going to sound bad, but they get to the point quicker because um, that's how my brain is. I'm always like, well, what are they going to say next? You know, so because I'm very tired about that. <laughs> and I, I know I talk fast sometimes, but I really can't help it. I've had a, a few comments and some of them were rude about that, but um there's no way I'm going to change who I am to suit one person. <laughs> That's basically what I tell them. I'm not going to change who I am just to make one person happy because that's ridiculous. You're, not, you're never supposed to change yourself to suit someone else's wants. <laughs> um, that's definitely not how I roll. <laughs> so if I talk too fast for you, there's also a way you can slow down YouTube videos. But if I talk slow, <laughs> you can speed them up, which is what I do. So I just thought that was funny because I got one of those comments the other day about someone who said that I needed to slow down when I talk, that I talk too fast. And it's like, how do you say that to someone? You know, that's that's kind of a rude comment. That's like if I talked really slow, if someone said, you talk too slow, you need to speed up. Or if I had a stutter, well, you stutter, you need to stop stuttering. You know, it's rude. <laughs> you don't just tell people stuff like that. Uh, I guess it's just me who thinks that way, but... Every time I get one of those comments, I always just, like, kind of roll my eyes at it. <laughs> I reply to it in the nicest way I can. Or if they're really mean, I just delete them. And uh, go on with my life. <laughs> but I'm going to sit here. I'm going to eat my chocolate. And drink some water. And put some chat stick on. Because I feel like right there, my lip's going to bust. It's been so dry for me. Mouth breathing from being sick. <laughs> that my lips have been cracking like crazy. I had put some on before I took a shower. And then I took a shower. So I want to wash my face. It came off. So I, got, I need to put some more on. <clears throat> so I guess I'll sit here and maybe crochet some squares and then probably head to bed I think it's around it's a little after 7 now I don't have any clock in the bedroom we don't keep a clock in the bedroom um so yeah I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> uh I have a video coming out tomorrow I'm not sure what it is we'll see <laughs> but I'll definitely vlog tomorrow because hopefully we'll get to go to the parade if the rain uh does go away the way it's supposed to and I'm sure we'll get into some other shenanigans this weekend because we're all going to be home. And we usually do. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.